I have pictures. Thank you. <laughs> so that's how we're going to prove that we're doing all these things.
succession of the business to the second generation is gratifying for me. There are many stories from over the years, but they're probably left, best left unsaid. <laughs> However, I can tell you that I've always been able to keep control of Gilly, just by telling him that I knew a lot of people in Toronto when he was living there, and that I had stories. <laughs> I just want you to know that it wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> I never did know any of the people who <laughs> Garney, what can I say? Garney stayed in Ottawa, party until he dropped. Oh yes, there were some legends. <laughs> then married and had kids, six kids. So there's no time for partying at that. <laughs> Ron has been pretty quiet about his personal life. But I think that formally we should announce that she's now married and is expecting identical twin boys in the near future. Oh, wow. As most of you are aware, the last year for me has been a roller coaster, and I'm practically on a first name basis with most of the nurses at the Regional Cancer Clinic. I've been very lucky in that I've been able to work up until now. However, we've been preparing for the transition in the last few months, and I think all is well. Lori will be taking over my duties, so if you have any problems, see, see her. <laughs> Before leaving tonight, I wanted to tell you again just how much the big buzz meant to me. Within two weeks of being told of my cancer, Jim and Arnie had organized the event, and 15 volunteers stepped forward to have their head shaved. Not only did you raise over $4,700, a lot of you have reduced your hair expense because you now keep your heads <laughs> 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 that's true. One year more. Yeah, that's right. Well, one of the volunteers who has decided not to stay buzzed, but was the bravest of all, please give a hand for Jennifer, the only female participant. <laughs> was able to come tonight, and in case you are not able to meet them before dinner, I'd like to introduce them to you. My mother, Lucille.